missing teeth, why are they problematic? Why would you not want to leave them? And how many teeth do you really need? What's up guys, this is Dr. O with The Dental Drive. Man, it's good to see your smiling face today. You guys look good. He thinks that's funny, I like that, Riley. Thanks for laughing, buddy. He thinks it's funny. I, uh, sometimes that's all you need is just your child to laugh at you, so it makes you feel good. So uh, Today we're gonna talk about missing teeth and what are the consequences and how many teeth do you really need? So when I consider uh, missing teeth in our patients, we wanna really talk about how many teeth are you missing and which teeth are you missing? And a gap in your uh, smile or a gap in missing teeth. So if, you, if your tooth is missing in between another two teeth, that would be more problematic than a back third, obviously we usually take out wisdom teeth, or a second molar being uh, missing. Those are not as important as a first molar. So if you are having the third or second molar removed because of the cost to repair, or you already have them missing, most people do pretty darn well with uh, first molar forward. Now, when you start missing first molar, premolars, or any of the, these other supporting teeth in front of your first molar, now we have a real issue with long-term health and balance. And a great analogy for that, and I'm passing one right now, so it kind of works out, and I got one behind me, yeah, is these trailers, these 18-wheelers, right? These 18 wheelers that have 18 wheels to give it enough support for the long-term load that these trucks have to carry through the life of their service. And the same thing that goes for our mouth. We have obviously 28 teeth if we have our wisdom teeth removed, 32 if you still have them. But those teeth, that mini teeth, are really important the more you have for long-term balance and stability. So the more you miss, the more issues you have. And you can imagine that a vehicle that's missing some tires or wheels on the right side is going to have more issues with the way that the vehicle wears, right? So long term, that's a real issue. It doesn't happen overnight. So some people get their teeth taken out and no big deal, right? They go for a few years and like, man, I'm doing pretty good. Why do I need to replace it? If you fast forward five, 10, 15, 20 years, matter of fact, I got some photos. I'll show you some teeth that have shifted here in a second, but you'll see how those teeth have shifted and what it took to get them with Invisalign or moving the teeth back into the proper position so that we, way we can restore them correctly. So here's some great photos. You'll see uh, this lady here would place a number of implants to replace her missing teeth. She was breaking off her front teeth because they were taking too much of the load. That's another thing. God designed our front teeth to cut and our back teeth to chew. And so when you remove uh, those, those back teeth, you lose the support and now your front teeth have to chew and it causes them to break and, and deteriorate really quickly. So if you're really young, got a lot of years ahead of you, that's gonna make a big issue, right? So with her, we moved her teeth to the right position, and you'll see that we moved them, restored these implants, and now she has solid teeth in the upper, and she has solid teeth on the lower. Uh, the next patient here, you'll see uh, he had um, some missing teeth in the upper and lower as well, and we got him back to first molar. You'll see that that was the priority. We didn't spend extra money to get second molars because it's my feeling and my belief and every dentist is going to have their own feeling and, and belief and, and opinion but uh, if you ask nine dentists you'll get 10 different answers but uh, you know i feel like if you can get patients back to at least their first molar you're going to have good long-term success and so that's my philosophy with that so how many teeth trying to make sure that especially our younger population but even even the older population is going to benefit from having first molars because of the chewing capability, the strength, and the overall long-term health benefits for you. Hopefully that was a, a short enough answer for what's the consequences, why you should uh, you know, go ahead and make sure to replace them if they are missing. Uh, that way you have long-term health. Here's another lady, by the way, that you can even see this tooth just rotated and we had to get it back and she was a young lady, so you can imagine that happened fairly quickly from missing that tooth and we placed a nice implant there for her. Um, that kind of wraps up missing teeth for this discussion today, but tomorrow I want to talk to you about something that's kind of a little more personal. So we're going to talk about, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe like, why did I decide to become a dentist? That'll be kind of fun, right? So tomorrow I'll try to keep it short. I, I love dentistry. I have a lot to say about that. 
but I can go a little longer tomorrow. I'll try not to. I only have like a 15 minute drive home, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get with it and be quick. But uh, Riley, you wanna say goodbye? Goodbye. You wanna say goodbye? Say it louder. All right, bye. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome evening. If you'll take just a second to smash the thumbs up button, give it a like, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you tomorrow for uh, the dental drive. You keep smiling. It definitely looks good on you.